you need to make sure that you're not blaming yourself all the time if you can't seem to get things right. So if you know that you're following all the right steps, you have the proper technique, then you probably need to evaluate the products and tools that you're using. Because I remember I used to struggle a lot with my first e-file, right? But I wasn't aware that the e-file was the major problem for me, right? And it wasn't until I went to nail school and... Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is an acrylic overlay that I did a couple months back that I didn't post at the time because I really wanted to relay the experience to you guys so you could understand completely what I was experiencing and how difficult it was for me. But I'll get to that in a minute. So first I start out with the pushing back of the cuticles and this time around I decided to use an orange wood stick instead of the cuticle pusher and I maintain the same gentle pressure as I would as if I was using the cuticle pusher. Next I use my diamond flame bit in reverse and forward to clean around the cuticle area and I'm using my Melody Susie electric file to assist with this process. Next, I carefully trim away the dead cuticles. Speaking of which, I have actually tweaked my cuticle prep routine a bit and I've incorporated an additional step where I use a diamond bit to actually clean the cuticle area. It's not a ball bit, but it is similar in shape to the ball bit. And as soon as I find out exactly what that bit is called, I will let you guys know. But you will see more on that in future videos. It's very interesting guys how so much has changed in the last couple of months and I'm so happy to look back and see the changes that I've implemented because it's showing that I am definitely learning and I'm growing. So the difference between then and now is that I actually have a brush holder on my desk now so I have a container to put my active tools in as opposed to back then I would just leave them on the table so now I have more space to work and they're easier to retrieve while working so all I really have to do now is just ensure that I properly clean and sanitize the container before I restock it with new implements for the next client so looking back at this video I can actually see how my new prep routine would be saving me so much more time at this point. Next I'm going in with a medium sanding band at a speed of about 3 to 4000 RPMs on my Melody Suzy e-file and I'm gently removing the shine from the nails. So I go around the cuticle area first, then I move to the center and then once this is complete I go in with my hand file and I shape the side walls and the free edges.
side we're doing an acrylic overlay so the nail plate needs to be textured dehydrated and primed and I used my Young Nail Swipe to dehydrate the nails and I'm using my Young Nails Protein Bond to prime the nails. Now that the nails have been prepped and primed, I'm going to move on to the acrylic application where the nightmare will unfold. <laughs> so since I was using a pigmented powder, I decided to go in with a very thin layer of clear acrylic and this is just to protect the nail plate from staining. So when I laid the first acrylic bead, right, I remember feeling very awkward, but I thought to myself, you know how it is, it's the first couple of nails, it's gonna feel that way, but you'll get it, right? But it didn't get better, and you'll see why in a second. So the challenge I had with this powder is that when you pick it up it's super runny but then boom it dries just as fast so you know how it is as you're there you're trying to figure it out and you're trying to figure out what the hell to do to make this work so here's what i tried the first thing i tried to do was to drain out some of the liquid right when i picked up the bead but then that didn't work because then the beads would stiffen and dry too quickly before i had a chance to mold them and by the way guys this is actually me working on the second hand so i would have already done the first hand so you know by the time i got to the second hand i was working with the acrylic much better than i was before but it was still very challenging so the second thing i tried to do was I waited you know three to four seconds before placing the bead that didn't work for the same reason as before the bead would just dry too fast and I wouldn't be able to mold it I also tried to turn up the temperature of the air conditioning unit because all right I was saying the main problem I had was the fact that it was too runny in the beginning so if i could you know be able to have that kind of control over it and then try to mold it quickly i could work with that rather than it being way too runny in the beginning and drying up too quickly at the end so ultimately i had to just use smaller beads and do patchwork here and there to even out the consistencies and then pray to God that I don't end up with two by fours that will take forever to file. Guys, I'm telling you, this acrylic took me back to nail school. Like I literally felt as though I was just starting out with nails. So I definitely won't be using this acrylic like this again. You know, I would probably use it with a glitter mix, you know, to do marble, to mix another custom color, but definitely not as an overlay, not, not to build a nail. You know, maybe I could um, do 3D art with it, um, but trust me guys, you need to make sure that you're not blaming yourself all the time if you can't seem to get things right. So if you know that you're following all the right steps, you have the proper technique, then you probably need to evaluate the products and tools that you're using. 
because I remember I used to struggle a lot with my first e-file right but I wasn't aware that the e-file was the major problem for me right and it wasn't until I went to nail school and was exposed to using other e-files and trust me guys it was like a voila moment I was like what it was a huge 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 breakthrough guys so please make sure you're not wasting time using the wrong tools the wrong implements the wrong um acrylic powders the wrong glue the wrong nail liquid you know because not all products are created equally right and if you need help guys feel free to check out my description box because i've listed everything that i think you will need as a beginner to get started and all of these items are things that i have tested and used myself and most of them if not all of them i still use in my salon today right so check them out guys
So after working magic with my E file, <laughs> I switch to the hand file just to refine the surface and shape the free edge and the side walls. So I think I filed out that area a bit too much so you'll see me here going back to you know make an adjustment
Alright, so I'm not gonna lie guys, these did not turn out as badly as I thought they would. My client didn't want a lot of nail art, she just wanted something very minimalistic. So I went in with a very simple design, you know, just one accent finger and that was it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!